Gosh, I'm setting a number of records for the number of episodes I'm recording of my show. Uh, so you are being inundated right now. I want to start you off with the fact that I'm in my living room now instead of uh, upstairs in the studio. But uh, I've already recorded an episode uh, letting you all know about my church practice being canceled and my uh, stuff that's uh, going on on how you can restock stuff. I got a frantic phone call this morning from my friend Levi Dotson. I know he has breathing problems and issues with his lungs already, and it's already hitting him hard. I pray that he gets home safe, gets to a doctor, and gets tested for this crap. Uh, that being said, and speaking of my fellow drivers, for those of y'all who think that you're just going to sit back, relax, and uh, hoard all the toilet paper, I have news for you. Without the trucks that deliver our livelihoods, America stops. I do not care if the truck is a P379, a Toyota Tundra, or a Chevy Silverado, Ford F-Series, uh, Freightliner Cascadia, which I drive which I drive at work, by the way, or Dodge Ram, anything like that. If you have a truck and you're a professional driver, you need to be thanked. Because you're the ones getting us through this crisis and this mass hysteria and all this panic. Uh, this is trucking at number 116. And by the way, I was only on 111 before today started. Uh, I'm going to try to get some rest in a little bit, but I want you all to know that, yeah, my groceries came in just fine, and uh, I thank truckers, and I also thank the very hard-working curbside delivery team at Stephenville, Texas, H-E-B, for having my stuff ready early. I want you to know that your safety is my priority as a driver along with your help, your health. <laughs> uh, I did post a quick episode about cancellation using my uh, Canon M50 upstairs, but uh, I want you all to know I am recording this one with my phone just because. Uh, I just had to hustle up and grab it. And I want to bring control to the hysteria here. Uh, most major games and sporting events such as NASCAR, Rodeo, PGA, uh, they're generally either canceled or restricted to media only at this point. It goes without saying, you are not to attend those events. Instead, you'll be watching them on TV if they're even happening at all. Many stations are going to go to reruns of events if, if main events cancel. Uh, and seriously, if you do not have a way to get information about the virus or anything else that's going on in this world, I encourage you to first off, not rely on the mainstream media. They don't know what's going on. They don't, you can't trust them. I want you to go straight to the horse's mouth, namely the Centers for Disease Control, and look up the information for yourself on how to keep yourself safe. A lot of people are going to be canceling stuff. My church has canceled everything, including their arena practices. They are going to cancel their Sunday service, more than likely, or switch it to a streaming platform. Now, what that means is You'll be watching them on your phone instead of in person if you attend. Uh, that's Parker County Cowboy Church in Alito, Texas. PCCowboyChurch.org is their website right, where you can get access to their uh, social media channels. Also, if you're uh, needing a church service to watch over the weekend. And also check them out on Facebook as well. Uh... I want you all to understand me here. If you did not prepare for this season, now's the time 
to get your butts in gear. Get that emergency toilet installed on your truck if you got one. Get everything else ready to go. And be prepared to hunker down. I do not know if my work is going to cancel yet, and I won't find out about that until later tonight. And either my co-driver or my boss will inform me when that happens. But in the meantime, most trucking has not canceled even if everything else has. And that's because y'all need supplies at the stores, y'all need supplies in the restaurants, and uh, y'all need supplies to continue working. And we get that. I want you to thank a driver today, either on video or on social media or by calling them if you know one. And I want you to make sure that those drivers can stay healthy no matter what. Uh, stay out of the truck stops, please. Because uh, those drivers will be in there. And they need to avoid the hazard that you might cause. Uh, if you are not a driver yourself and watching this. If you are a driver and you are watching this. Hand sanitizer, soap, cleaning supplies, hot logic. Those are things you need in your cab right now. Uh, if you have access to them and you're a guy, use incontinence supplies. Uh, that means pads, emergency urinal jugs, uh, emergency milk jugs, and Gatorade bottles will all be needed to keep you from having to go inside the truck stop unnecessarily. If you're a female, well, I don't know what to do to help you in terms of bladder incontinence or anything like that. You're going to have to talk with your doctor or with your fellow women about how they're going to get along. Uh, if you're going to be dealing a lot with dispatch, they might bring papers out to you tonight instead of uh, having you go inside. If you must go inside, use your disinfectant. Use your hand sanitizers and try to avoid the spread. Now, a lot of places are going to be gathered with more than 50 people at a time. That concerns me, especially with these large trucking warehouses like those at FedEx Ground. So please try to minimize the lines in there. Call ahead. Use the AVR if you have to. And take your time. I'm not afraid to wait, but I know it's going to impact my running time. Also, since I'm running between a hot spot and a normal area, or for that matter, it may be two hot spots by the time you see this episode, just know that I'm still safe right now. But things could change in the next couple days, and I will keep you informed. Right here on this channel and on my Facebook page. Stay healthy, my f fellow drivers. Everybody else, please thank your fellow drivers and those who are serving your grocery stores and restaurants and trying to get stuff to you safely. This is a national emergency. Hours of service have been lifted for those drivers who haul food and disaster supplies. And for the rest of us who operate team operations, for example, uh, we're expecting some changes as well. Until next time, let's make your best trip your next trip, and please stay healthy out there on the roads. Bye for now.